Incoming email. What you want to know? Craig's <laughs> Corner. Hey, welcome to Craig's Corner for Tuesday, August 29th, 2012. Today's question comes in from David, and he wants to know whether or not you can use non-vocal instruments with our processors. Stuff like uh, trumpet, trombone, flute, saxophone, any of that kind of stuff. Saxophone. Um, Yes and no. Uh, we have some people who are using, uh, say, trombone, and they're um, they're getting a harmony above and below, and kind of creating a brass section for themselves. Um, similarly, we've got some guys who are using trumpet, and really, what happens is, as long as you stay within the vocal range um, in terms of your frequencies or your pitches, uh, then it will process quite well. As soon as you get up into sort of really high ranges. Um, we, what happens with, with the sampling and the way that the, the processing works is the higher the frequency, the faster we have to make samples of that frequency in order to figure out what pitch is going on for our, our pitch detection, which then drives our harmonies. So as that gets higher and higher and higher, the processing gets more and more intense. And at some point, our processors just pooch out and it won't do it at that point. Um, so we found that with, uh, say, a trumpet, if you get way up there, it can get really warbly and things can go a bit weird because it's well outside of, of the average singer's range. I mean, it might be within Mariah Carey's range, but not within sort of the, the normal singer's range. Um, so that said, you can be extremely successful with making really cool harmonies for mid-ranged brass or woodwind instruments. Um, it's just basically up to a bit of experimentation, you know, what works well, does it sound cool if it's doubled with this particular instrument, maybe it doesn't, maybe choir works, maybe it doesn't. Um, you know, it's really up to the users to, uh, to get out there and try them. But that said, you know, we do know uh, specifically there's there's one trombone player who's been actually getting more work as a single trombone player with a voice live too, with a couple of harmony voices because he can show up and become the entire uh, uh, the entire brass section. Um, you know, so it's it's uh, it's something that you could use one of our devices and actually give yourself a leg up on the competition if you're a session musician looking for uh, for that kind of thing. Uh, so thanks to David for that question, and we will see you guys in a couple of days. <laughs>